they really don't want to throw any curveballs into the mix here because their understanding for students that it's a new format this year, it's a difficult time in general for folks during COVID and so much uncertainty in general about how law school is going to be, how undergrad is going to be, how everything's going to be, right? So we don't know how long this is going to drag on. So they're really, it being flex alone is enough of a curveball. They don't want to add more confusion or difficulty into the mix. So what we've seen has been very standard. And actually, the questions they're using are previously undisclosed exams they administered in the past. So what folks did for the July LSAT, it could have been an undisclosed exam from February 2015, or it could have been an overseas administration from 2017, or a Sabbath observers test from 2018. So it's all the same exact questions. They're just kind of mixing and matching sections from those exams. And of course, three sections that are scored, not five administered or four scored as it was. So they're not looking to confuse people. And they have confirmed, and law schools have also confirmed, that they're treating this no differently than a regular LSAT, meaning that let's say a 165 on the flex is the same as a 165 on the actual. And I actually have seen, strangely enough, I've seen more variation on test day performance than I have for previous administrations. So some people are doing a lot better on the flex. Some are doing a lot worse. As for why that is, it's hard to say. I think it could be people's stress and nerves around doing things on the flex format with ProctorU versus doing it at in-person at a testing center. Some people feel weird about the online proctoring. Others get stressed about taking it in a testing center with a bunch of other people around. And so the test may or may not play to your strengths or weaknesses there, but that's one thing that could have an impact. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.